news about news about there is news and there is just kind of for news about yeah 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 a patch up there's no time to waste time let's just what dive right in <laughs> Just partners, news are about oh, news are about there is news and there is gist. Ghana for I'm just all excited about this news. Yeah, yeah. These are the kind of news that just get me excited. Anytime I hear about empowerment of young women, young girls, like this gets me so excited. Anyway, before I jump right into this exciting news, if you know you're not following my other channel, Sandy's Joyful Space. May patch up. Don't go and miss. Don't go and be missing. No, oh. please do check it out. Thank you very much. Hmm. This gist, eh? I don't even know where to start from. I'm just excited about the gist because it's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I love to celebrate. I love to hear about. I just love to talk about this kind of topic or this kind of gist. Like guys, from my voice, you can already tell that I'm excited. So you say, Sandy, what's the gist? What's the gist? I will tell you. I will tell you. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm here. So the Minister of Communication in Ghana has been running this program. Like, it's not something that she started like yesterday. I think she has been running it for some time now. And it's called the Girls in ICT program. It's a program where young girls are being trained in the digital sector, you know, technology, all those kind of things. If you are interested, like any young girl who is interested to acquire digital skills, to just come and learn about tech, ICT, all those things, uh -huh, there's no time to even think much. This program is for you. There's no time to even, you know, beat around the bush. And this will be taking places in various districts in the Bonu East region. So in Bonu, Ahafo, Savannah, and Northern region. This is where all those things will be taking place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all those girls will be trained to acquire, you know, digital skills that they can use in the future. Like some of them can decide to even say, okay, like I love this so much. I want to, you know, go to the university to study, you know, communications, information, tech. Like they can even decide to explore it more. And this will be, you know, beneficial to the country at the long run. You know one thing, and when it comes to tech, digital and all those stuff, People really think that, oh, it's for guys, it's for boys, like, you know, they are the ones who are into this stuff, it's not a ladies thing, da 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 da, -da. Uh -huh. And most girls have been kind of relaxed, like, laid back into venturing into those aspects, because it has been labeled like, you know, a guy's kind of thing, so girls don't even want to, like, you know, go to that aspect, like, it doesn't even cross our mind like that, say, ah, let's go and check it out too, like, ah. How will it be? You know, if you don't try something sometimes, you really might not know if you really have interest in it or if you will even enjoy it. So this program is like empowering young girls to make them know that, no, <laughs> this tech world, this digital world, it's not for only guys. Ladies can do it. Young girls can do it. Young women can do it. Like, you can do it and even do it better. Like, you can do it better. So I really love this. I really love, 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 love this because this will make them to be able to bring out what they don't even know they have because some of them are even have these skills but because they have not got a platform to you know explore it so you know work on it they might not even know that okay they have this in them but this platform this opportunity they will make them see that oh <coughs> i can do this like i got this mm -mm, i really got this so they'll be training about five thousand young girls yeah 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 five thousand young girls like when i heard this i was like this is how it's supposed to be ghana is a smart country when you talk about smartness no ghana is smart i love the fact that they are investing in the future of ghana when a country is investing in education investing in you know trying to bring the young ones up in a path whereby in the future the country will benefit from it in the long run all these girls that have been trained they are assets to Ghana. You don't know. Hey, you don't know that. that. You don't know. Share. Yeah. These things that they are doing is not for a joke. Mm -mm. It's for the future of Ghana. So if you have a sister, child, anyone who you know is interested in doing this or perhaps you just want to give it a try, encourage them if they are in these regions to just go and try it. Like just go and try it out. You are not paying for it. If you go and you end up that, okay, you don't like it. Eh, it's no problem. At least you tried. It was an adventure. You learned something. And they said most of these girls, they had no knowledge about computer or like anything of that sort before coming into this program. Like most of the young girls who will be going for this program, 
they've never had any experience on computer this or that like in the tech world they have no knowledge about it so guys this is a beautiful idea this is a wonderful idea and they are also you know training the teachers so that this will be like a continuous something so they are training about 300 teachers in different schools in these regions so that they will be able to continue this program in the school you know even make this part of their curriculum like guys there's something you have to tell me like this is a smart move this is what i call smart move i love this i love this i love this i know that this is not the first time they are doing it but i just thought i should come and share it with you guys because these are the kind of things we have to create awareness for so that other countries will also learn and see that ah hey hey let me also start to let me buckle up uh -huh. anyway guys let me read from the horse's mouth because you know <laughs> sandy just got to read from the horse's mouth so that you hear it directly directly communication ministry begins training of 5,000 girls under girls in ICT program. The Ministry of Communications and Digitalization has kickstarted the training of 1,000 girls from various districts in the Bornu East region. In all, 5,000 girls from five regions, namely Bornu, Ahafo, Savannah, and Northern region, will be introduced to and trained in basic ICT skills and coding this year. I wish to provide all girls who desire digital skills anywhere in this country the same opportunity that these girls have reached we have a very ambitious goal and there is so much work to be done in giving our young people the right skills for this reason i am working closely with the ministry of education to ensure that we mainstream practical ict education in the curriculum of all schools said minister for communications and digitalization Mrs. Usula Uwusu Ekafu. The training in coding will give the girls the opportunity to explore the world of technology through the creation of websites, computer games, interactive arts, mobile apps, and animation stories using various programming languages. As part of strategies to both ensure that Ghana achieves the Sustainable Development Goal 5 and Ghana's ICT 4AD policy, on bridging the gender digital divide, the Ministry of Communications and Digitalization, through its agency GFEC, NCA, and the Kofi Annan ICT Center of Excellence, has expanded the scope of the GIICT event. After their training, which also introduces them to scratch and basic structures of programming, the girls participate in a competition. This competition is expected to test the knowledge and ICT skills acquired during the training period including website design, development of games, coding and simple ICT applications. Interestingly, over 60% of the girls trained have no prior knowledge or experience in the use of computers. The Girls in ICT program was introduced in 2012 by the International Telecommunications Union to empower and encourage girls and young women to acquire digital skills and consider studies and careers in the growing field of information and communication technologies. Ghana has adopted this initiative and observed it on a regional basis. It has already been celebrated in Greater Accra, Ashanti, Northern, Volta, Western, Western North, Northeast, Central, and OT regions. The program involves the training of trainers who in turn train the girls. Training of 1,000 girls from districts within the selected region. Mentorship season that provides a platform for women working in the ICT field to share their personal life stories and professional experiences with the young girls. This encourages and guides the girls in their future career choices. So guys, like the news is be bre bre, but how do you hear this news? Like how did this sound in your ears guys? No, how did this sound? I'm really loving it. Just to see young girls, young women diving into the tech world, diving into the digital world, you know, doing great things, creating websites, inventing games, like a lot and a lot more. I'm so excited about this. This is a good news. And I said, mm -mm, I have to share with my GIST partners. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you have watched at this point, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're on this channel, you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please help me hit that subscribe button. And hit the location bell, let it do background. So that anytime there's news like this, nobody will tell you. You will hear with your ears that ah, news are bad. There is news and there is gist. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love, your support. God bless you all and see you all in my next video. Bye.